Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Tab back in the video today. And today, we're going to be talking about the Philadelphia 76ers potentially signing Paul George, nine time All Star and one time still champion and six time All NBA. Paul George has gotten a lot of early interest, and it's not even the playoffs yet. The 76ers have a lot of interest and are very interested in signing Paul George this offseason if he becomes a free agent and opts out of his player option. Now, I do expect him to opt out of his player option. I think there are going to be a lot of interesting opt-in or opt-outs this offseason to see if LeBron opts in or opts out of his player option. But necessarily doesn't mean if you're going to opt out of your contract, that doesn't mean you're going to leave the team, right? Uh, it just means you're looking for more money. I think Paul George will opt out of his contract. He'll explore options like potentially signing with a team like Philadelphia or any other team that has interest. And mainly his main his main his main goal will be to return to the Clippers, but he will want to negotiate a contract probably. That is, that is what I'm guessing what will happen. I don't see the 76ers as a real threat to join, uh, you know, to, to, to get Paul George to join them. I think no matter what happens, I think the Clippers are going to re-sign Paul George. That is what I expect this offseason. But you never know. Things could change. Uh, I think it's definitely going to depend on the the success of the Clippers in the in the postseason. Look, if they're a first round, and I, I, I've talked about the same thing with Donovan Mitchell. I've said with the Cavs and, and Donovan Mitchell, if they're a first round playoff exit, look, Donovan Mitchell, if they, if they go down in the second round or the Eastern Conference Finals, Donovan Mitchell might be okay negotiating a contract extension and staying in Cleveland. But I look at the I look at Donovan, and if I think it, I think if they get eliminated in the first round, I think he's gonna have he's gonna make a trade request and he's gonna ask to leave Cleveland. Now with Paul George. If they get eliminated in the first round, potentially, uh, whoever they play, whether it's New Orleans or it's Dallas or whoever it is, I think he might explore potentially leaving L.A. than he would before if they lost in the second round or the Western Conference Finals. There has never been any playoff success with the Clippers. The most they've made it to is the Western Conference Finals once. Uh, but a lot of eliminations for this Clippers team, and maybe Paul George decides... Uh, to explore his options more than he would if they get eliminated in the first round is what I'm saying. But I still expect Paul George to come back to the Clippers. He just had a monster game against Cleveland the other day, speaking of Cleveland, uh, where he had a game winner, and I think he had like 39 or 37 points, something like that, with 11 rebounds. So he's having a great year. He, this season he's played in 72 games, 70, 72 starts. Uh, he is averaging this year... In those 72 games, he's averaging 22.8 points per game. He's an all-star this year. He's also averaging four assists per game, which he's also averaging 5.3 rebounds per game. And from three, he's shot 41%, which is the best he's shot since the 2020-21 season. Let me your thoughts on the potential signing for the 76ers in the comment section, and peace out.